the experimental forest. Three types of forests. Multi-age forest, same age forest, turn of the century forest. Is one better? Please take a few minutes to view these three types of forest management. Think about what each forest does or doesn't provide. Beauty, homes for animals, wood products, long-term and short-term opportunities, soil, health, and more. Multi-age forest. A family lives across the road. There are seedlings and saplings in the forest across the road. These trees share the forest with middle age and old trees. Some trees were removed from this all-age forest in 1990. The limbs and branches left over from logging were left on the ground so the nutrients could be recycled. About every 15 years, a few selected trees can be removed and used for wood products. Most of the trees will be left to grow and some dead trees will be left as homes for birds and animals. Mature, healthy trees will continually drop seeds into the fresh clearings where the trees can start to grow. Look for the partial clearings scattered with low brush and provide good food for wildlife. The thicker areas of brush and small trees provide hiding cover. Managing a multi-age forest has an objective of more varied structure throughout the stand. Same age forest. Ponderosa population boom. The dense, thick forest up this hill is full of trees the same age and the same size. The majority of the older, taller trees that used to be there are now gone. Sun and nutrients can now reach the younger trees and they are growing rapidly. This forest will be thinned one or two more times during its lifetime. Once mature, these trees will be available for harvesting and the majority of trees will be removed. After harvesting, newly planted seedlings can start the cycle of this even age forest again. Try to see through the trees. Their density creates a screen which gives wildlife safe hiding, cover, and shelter. Managing an even age forest has an objective of even growth throughout the stand. turn-of-the-century forest, 100 years ago. The ponderosa pine forest in front of you looks like the forests here 100 years ago. Lightning struck and fires burned throughout this type of forest every 10 to 15 years. The ponderosa pine's four-inch thick bark protected the trees, but the underbrush and seedlings were consumed. Lightning still strikes here, but wildfires are not allowed now because of the concentration of people in this area and the need for our wood products. The Forest Service set a controlled fire here in the spring of 1992. It was burned again in 2003 and reduced the amount of brush. This burned like the lightning fires of long ago and created the clearings you see between the trees. Look into this old forest. Your gaze can go deep. There is little to block your view. Wildlife that are dependent on open understory and old growth ponderosa pine forests would be found here. About every 10 years, controlled burns will be set here to maintain this turn-of-the-century forest in a close to natural state. These 300-year-old trees are a tool in the study of how forests develop. Understanding forest cycles helps the Forest Service manage these resources for future generations. <laughs>